Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, my name is Josh Snipes and today we're going to be doing another how to play an operator. Now if you're new to the channel and just seeing this for the first time, how to play an operator is a series that I started with how to play Hibana and I plan to carry out through all the operators. Also, if there are any big changes or nerfs or buffs that come out, I'll make sure to remake the video with the updated information or I'll at the very least leave a comment down below. I'm probably going to have to remake how to play Ibana because there's been so many changes to her. But just so you guys know, I try to keep the videos updated as much as I possibly can with the new information that comes out during the seasons. This series is basically how to play an operator within a team environment and how you're going to play with the team and how, what role you're going to fill on that team. Now these views are subjective to what I've seen on Pro League, Challenge League, Go Fours, and how I play and how I've seen others play. Also it will help you whether you are solo king or if you're running it at 5 stack. Now remember that different regions have different play styles and that individual players have personal preferences. But overall this is how I think you should run the operator and how I think you should play the operator. Anyways, let's start off with how to play Bandit. Bandit was shipped with the game from the very beginning, back when there was no DLC operators to be had. He's part of the GSG9 organization, and he was shipped with Jaeger as his fellow defender, and IQ and Blitz on the attacking side. Now, Bandit's gadget has been completely useful from the very beginning of this game. And, I mean, that's why they came out with Thatcher to sort of counter him, because without Thatcher, you wouldn't be able to get in any walls. But with that being said, there's a bunch of other stuff now that has come out that can kind of counter him like Maverick and stuff like that. So it's interesting to see how he still fits in the meta even though all these new DLC operators have come out. But he can electrify reinforced walls, hatches, barbed wire, and deployable shields. You probably won't ever see people put it on hatches anymore, especially with the more updated hatches that are super flat. The old ones used to be a, have a little bump on them where you would kind of push down the railing. But that has since changed, and so it's a lot easier to see the bandit charges when they get put on. And if you weren't paying attention before, when they had the old hatches, it was pretty easy to miss them and not see this electrified if you just look at it real quick. But now you you couldn't miss it even if you wanted to. And going along with his gadget, I'm just going to go over some of the things that he counters and then some of the things that from the defender's side that he can also affect. Now, from the if an attacker is using their gadget, so let's say Twitch's drone or breach charges or thermite charges or bonnet charges, anything that goes either near the electrified wall or the electrified barbed wire that you might see, um, if, if it goes into any of that, it's going to shock it and destroy it. Now, I'm going to show you guys bandit tricking later and what that really is, but... Thermite charges and Hibana charges are two of the huge counters that Bandit really does a good job against. He's really, really useful for that, and that's honestly like where he shines the most. But if someone shoots, say, an Ash Charge or throws a Ying Candela or maybe shoots a Nomad Air Jab onto an electrified wall or electrified barbed wire, um, it's going to destroy it. And this goes for Cade also, but when I do Cade, I'll make sure to go over all the stuff that he can also do. But going back to Bandit, I think that it's very important to understand what he can and can't destroy. So think of any throwables that aren't sort of analog in terms of if it's a frag grenade, it won't destroy a frag grenade. But if it's Candela, it's electronic, it's going to destroy the Candela. Now, from the defender side of gadgets, this also is really, really helpful to know as a defender that's playing with a Bandit on your team. If a smoke grenade or, say, a C4 or anything like that lands on his reinforced while it's electrified it's going to get destroyed but you just need to pay attention and make sure that you don't do that with your devices because if you do you just wasted a lot of utility now also with that being said if mute puts his gadget too close or jaeger puts an ads or valkyrie puts a black eye on it or if there's a grisma or an evil eye or a prisma anything like that think of anything that's electronic that can go near the wall or go on the wall, it's going to get destroyed. So make sure you guys pay attention when you guys are putting gadgets down. Now, an example of something that won't get destroyed that's close could be Frostman. Now, this is considered quote-unquote analog because there's nothing technological for it. So make sure you guys are paying attention to what you guys are putting on the wall and make sure as a bandit you're paying attention to what's on the wall already just to let, because if it, someone puts an ADS on there, you want to tell them, hey, take the ADS off so I can bandit this. Now, before I hop into the loadout for Bandit, I want to just point out that the Thatcher EMP grenade is a huge counter to Bandit, and I think that you should be weary of this, and tr this is where Bandit tricking is going to come in handy, but with that being said, I'm going to go over the other counters that he has. Twitch is actually a decent one. Um, if you don't shoot her shock drone, she can shock the Bandit batteries, but it's a lot harder to get two Bandit batteries because you usually hear the first one get taken out. Also, 
if you have bandit batteries down, IQ can actually see it through the floor, so with her IQ scanning. So if she goes above or below, depending on the site, she can get your bandit batteries. Also, a huge, huge, huge counter that has been coming out more recently is Maverick. Maverick can put holes in the wall that you can shoot him through and that he can shoot you through, or can at least shoot the bandit batteries. So a lot of people have been having a hard time bandit tricking against a Maverick, and I'm hopefully going to help you guys try to take on a Maverick a little bit easier, but it is a very difficult task to do. Also, one last thing, you can actually, anyone can shoot the bandit batteries, so if someone has a line of sight on it, they can usually shoot it, but that doesn't normally happen too often without someone being able to counter and shoot that person. So just be wary of that. Also, on some sites, people use buck to get rid of bandit batteries, and that's a pretty easy counter because normally you just have a roamer kill buck, but... Just be wary of all this stuff when you're bandit tricking. Now, let's move on to the loadout. Now, you get a choice of two primaries between the M870 shotgun, which is sort of a half-barrel shotgun, and an MP7. The MP7 is probably going to be the gun that you want to go for, and probably the gun that you'll always choose. It's a really good submachine gun, and it shoots like a laser once you have to recoil down. Now, I run a compensator and a holographic on it, and I am one of those weird people that runs a laser, but again... Laser and the holographic are kind of personal and preference. I, I wouldn't necessarily say that there's it's the end all be all, but t usually people run the holographic as of now just because of the housing and that it's such a small dot that you don't have to really get anything else covered. Now for the secondary, you have just a P12. P12 is probably one of the best handguns in the game. It shoots really straight and it's really easy to see people with. I usually practice with that when I go into casual or anything like that or I'm warming up. I usually practice with the P12, so I have a lot of practice on that gun, so I might be a little biased. But the P12 is honestly one of my favorite guns. It's really easy to add shots, and it's a really easy gun to control. Now, the gadgets that you get to choose from is going to be the barbed wire and the nitro cell. Honestly, it's going to come down to which team you really want to play with and kind of that play style that you're going to fit. As of late, I've been running a C4, and that's just because having another C4 is always really useful for the end of the round. And that's just why I run it, but usually I'll switch between barbed wire and nitrous cell just depending on the site and depending what my team needs from me. So moving on to the tips and tricks, I'd probably just show you one of the most important fundamentals of bandit that you guys will ever see. And this is going to be bandit tricking. So uh, just a demonstration, I really want to let you guys hear this sound. So this is what it sounds like. So basically you heard what that thermite charge actually sounds like and this will work against a Hibana also but I'm just going to show it on the thermite because it's probably the biggest one that you probably run into. So you see put the bandit down and it will get rid of the electric charge that was on there. Anything else that you try to throw on that wall it'll get electrocuted and broken and that was going over the fact that we talked about earlier. But I want to show you guys pretty much how you want to do it with the sound. So you heard that charge break and that's basically the sound you're listening for. Now when Thermite places his charge down, there's a click. That's him pretty much finishing out his animation. That's what you're listening for because you can sort of half put it on and it not get broken as Thermite. And they try to just bait out using your bandit so that they can EMP him. And the same thing, when you're using Hibana, you can actually hear them hit the wall. And it's probably a lot louder than the Thermite charges. But with the Thermite, you want to make sure that you are using stereo headphones. You don't want to be using mono headphones. Basically, stereo lets you hear on which side of the wall or which wall you're actually going to be placed on, especially on something like garage in a consulate. You have three panels to watch out for, so you want to get used to what the sound is like. Now, before I end this video, I just want to go over something really quickly before it's done. And I think that Maverick is probably a really big problem that you'll face as a bandit. And the problem is right now, there's not really too many ways to counter him. They're trying to put in little implementations and stuff to counter him. Like you can't really, um, you can't repel onto a wall and open it that way anymore. You have to do it a different way or else you get shocked as Maverick. But the best way, honestly, to counter Maverick, if you see him poke a hole, just pre-fire the hole and hope you get a headshot on. A lot of times people will usually be peeking that hole. They don't just poke a hole and peek it for no reason or just leave it there for no reason. Also, if the hole is big enough, you can actually throw a C4 out of it. So what you want to do is you want to shoot your bandit charge right before you throw a C4. So that way your bandit charge or bandit C4 doesn't get broken. And then that's the only real way you can counter him as of right now. They have don't have any ops, but bandit himself doesn't have any sort of hard counter to Maverick. It's just you got to try to kill him or hope for the best. 
But keep bandit tricking. Remember that bandit tricking is super important. Even if they have a maverick, just listen. Normally, you can kind of hear it. It's still a little too quiet for my liking, but you can normally hear it. But just keep your ears open, and you'll probably do good. But bandit's really good at roaming if you don't end up having to bandit trick anything. So make sure you guys try that because he honestly is one of the best loadouts that I think in the in the defender side i love playing bandit and he's so much fun to roam with and so much fun to just play on site with also so it just really depends on your style of play and what you want to do you can do either with him he's a really strong character anyways guys i hope that pretty much wraps things up for you guys let me know if you guys have any questions down in the comments below i'll make sure to go over there and answer them as soon as i can and with that being said that's gonna be it this is gonna be josh snipes signing off